Hello Mars fans, welcome us to my videos on comics and toys and we're still looking at still looking at mask toys at the moment and this one is all about oh, Boulder Hill. Oh. Oh. <coughs> so here's Boulder Hill in all its glory and it's a big massive lump of plastic. I had this toy when I was younger and it was the only one that I threw away or left behind at my old house because I didn't have the room to put it anywhere and I've recently just bought one off of eBay which is quite cool. Picked it up for a very cheap price and it's 100% complete and yeah so it's quite nice. So I always kept the figures that come with it, which we got Buddy Hawk, and he was the main person that worked at this place, he was the mechanic, so he always, he usually was based at Boulder Hill, you probably all know about from the cartoon, and he come with his mask, which was Penetrator, that one, and basically his Penetrator mask, it could make him phase through objects, and also the vehicle he was in as well, so if he was in Firecracker he could phase through a mountain and come out the other side and I also got the hard to get mask with this uh, playset which has got the it's got the smaller version basically so kids were liable to choke on it more and they're quite hard to pick up these these masks so I was lucky to, to get this uh, that's his mask, it's the only one I've got with the short version so Let's try and get the others. So I put Buddy in his in his old mask that I had. These are the two original figures I had in the playset, so I always kept them. The other figure is Alex Sector. He was very British, and he, he said things like "bloody hell, Matt" and "crikey" because he was awfully British, and he was a I think he was a vet or veterinarian or whatever he'd done bestiality and that's Alex Sector and he comes with his Jack Rabbit mask which when he activated it it made him fly and it all lit up in pretty little colours so yeah he was one of the also one of the main characters probably him Matt and Bruce Sato are probably the, the main three characters in the, the mask team so I'll put those to the side for a minute and as I said this is the Bold Hill and it's got quite a lot of bits on it so have a look first of all it's got the the pumps which uh, move around and I've still got uh, the original hose pipe in that not a lot of people seem to have seem to have lost it but I kept mine I, I got rid of the place set and I, I kept the pipe in and that's the one shown outside yep yeah, it's got the garage front garage side there, I've got the inside of it that gives all the secrets away and makes it look like a toy and then you've got the hill from that side and to activate Boulder Hill you I'll put it around this side because I can't reach it on that side you pull this switch at the back at the back of it that moves the cannons like so, like that, and then also there is another peg which you push forward, which releases the gun, which is there, I'll put it back, so there's a lever at the back and you can bring the gun out, amazing laser there, tiny little thing, and it also pushes down the, the front of the shop to uh, show the guard there which they can stand in and you've also got the um, the signpost which you press the button at the back and it flips down and activates the guns there it's a little bit dusty inside and also you've got the trap door 
you can put a figure on it, like that. Press this button, it isn't really a button, it's just a piece of plastic that moves. And that opens up, and the buddy falls in it. And he should go in the prison. There's a door there anyway. If you pull that out, it goes in there. And that's the prison bit. Got like a computer console, old school stuff there. Stick that back in there for a minute, put that back up. Yeah. So that switch there in the back is for the petrol pumps, and that one does the, the laser cannon at the front. And also, you've got a um, a lever around the back so you can pull this round, which puts up more armour the boulder hill like so it's also got doors as well which open up open the flaps and then last but not least is the boulder which comes off and you flip a switch in the back push it I have to push it forward for a minute because I can't get to it so you Twist it round, I have to do it from the side. Pop the whole bolt up. Like that. And that falls off like a giant turd and releases the gun. There, which you can spin around with this bit inside. And then you can put a figure inside it. scratch all the paint off the figure. There we are, it's in now. So yeah, twist that round, pull the mountain apart. And he sits on there. That's it. So that is Boulder Hill. There's other reviews on it on the net but I just thought I'd put my one up. And yeah, it's a cool vehicle. Probably cost between about 30 and 50 pound already. So that's it for Boulder Hill. I uh, hope you like the toy and you can pick them up for about 30 to 50 quid. The only um, pain in the ass is the postage, which cost me 12 pound to get this sent to me, but not too bad. I'll, I'll send them go for between about, say, 30 to 50 quid, or I don't know what that is in dollars, 100 dollars or so. And uh, the main bits to watch out for is to get the, the boulder and Make sure none of the tabs are broken on it, and also the, probably the hardest bit is the well, is the petrol pump uh, hoses to get. You can get these from um, other toys, but these are the original ones. And you can get them from other toys. I think the GI Joe toys uh, that come with the Tele Vipers there, they're quite similar. But I got um, I found some hoses from one of the Mask Adventure packs. It was the the Venom's Revenge. I think they're about half the size of this, but they, they do fit inside it. And obviously is to get um, Alex Sector and Buddy Hawks with their masks. So, hope you enjoyed this vehicle review, and I will see you very soon, and we'll look at some more toys.